am Danielle Mueller and I teach human anatomy, human physiology, and microbiology here at Mac. So I kind of work for both the um, biology department and the nursing department. The nursing students have to take my classes as well. Um, so I, I work with them and then other pre-health care um, students. So I, I work with a wide range of students and then also uh, a wide range of faculty. So it's kind of nice to get to know all sorts of people from all parts of campus here. I chose to teach microbiology um, because it, I think it's really interesting. I love teaching the lab. I love getting to watch the students go through and, and get to plate bacteria and understand how thing, how how small actions can cause big effects. Like if you're not careful, if you don't use aseptic technique and things like that, you can contaminate things. And what does that, you know, it means it ruins your experiment. It could mean that you're taking this somewhere else. And that directly applies to anybody going into the medical field with like sterile field and things like that. Microbiology to me is just always really interesting that all the little things, you know, that we can't see how much of an effect it can have on, you know, our lives, whether it's good or bad, there's lots of Good bacteria we focus on the bad ones a lot but you know there are good things that bacteria do for us too but i think it's interesting and hopefully that translates to to my students as well my teaching philosophy is that i try to um, teach at a high level with a lot of rigor so that my students come out of the class knowing the concepts that, that they really need to know all these biological concepts that they're going to need whether they're going nursing or pre-med or, or whatever it happens to be, what, whatever their degree is. Um, so I have a lot of rigor, but I try to give them a lot of tools to help them kind of rise to that standard. So if they put in the time, they put in the effort, they put in that that work that they're going to get the outcome that, that they want. I try to use lots of different techniques to get them to, you know, get to that, that level of learning. I, I lecture, of course, to kind of add to what the book is saying. Um, I do dissections, we do experiments in the lab. Um, we sh I show videos or video clips sometimes to kind of hammer home the, those certain concepts or to make something like an actual real world situation where they can see how that actually works or how it, it affects them. You know, maybe the public, like in microbiology, you know, we watch videos about emerging infectious, infectious diseases and things like that. What's unique about my classroom is that I have a lot of hands-on um, components to my class. We I, All my classes have labs, so my students are usually in lab, you know, two times a week for two hours at a, at a time. So they, they're in and interacting, doing experiments or dissections or, um, things like that, depending on, on which lab it happens to be. They have a lot of um, time to, to kind of relate the, the book material to like a real world application. And um, in that setting, it also gives me a lot of time where I get to kind of know my students pretty well. And what's also kind of unique is I get to see my students multiple semesters. I usually see them for human anatomy, then human physiology, then microbiology. So I really get to know them and kind of see them progress as they go through their education, which is, is kind of nice to see. You don't always get that opportunity at the community college level to see students again and again after semester. And then finally at the, at the end, I get to see them at graduation or at their pinning ceremony for nursing. Um, so I get to see that final culmination. So even when they were super stressed when they started, like I get to see at the end that they've made it and how proud they are and how excited. And so that's kind of, you know, something that that's a little different, I think, from some other classes. My students, they teach me a lot. They teach me that, you know, you have to have perseverance and dedication and and they, you know, that, that not every day is going to be a good day, but if they keep on going, they're going to get to the, the what they what they wanted in the beginning. They also make me want to learn more. So it makes me go out and read more about different things and, and try to keep up with that so that I can make sure that I'm teaching them at that that level that they they need and you know bring in new concepts or new things that have technology other things that have come out recently. Mac is a really welcoming warm kind of place like from the first day when I started I felt like I belonged, like, like, you know, other faculty was there to help, the students were very kind. For me, Mac is, you know, that kind of environment, like where you have a lot of more one-on-one -on -one or small group kind of interactions where the students are not just like a number. I like the feel of, of building relationships and getting to know the students and, and, and having that, that kind of 
nice, warm, like family kind of feel. That's what, what Mac kind of means to me.